Hi guys, I hope you're well. So this is a little bonus video really and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to recreate a look that I shot for Grazia recently and actually it was in collaboration with Carnaby London, so Carnaby Street which is like the coolest shopping area in London if you don't know it because on the 12th of November they do a shopping event which is 20% off everything in Carnaby Street between 5 and 9pm and it's like a giant party of joy for Christmas and it's such a great opportunity to buy Christmas presents and stuff or if you're like me I'll be down there buying myself presents. The whole shoot was based around 1970s Christmas and I was inspired by a Cher and Jackson 5 video actually, bear with me. <laughs> Google it because it's the most amazing video, Cher's wearing the most uh, insane cat suit, she's got a giant afro and I wanted to do a makeup look that I thought she would rock. Um, so I've gone for a teal eyeshadow because teal is something that maybe you haven't tried before so I wanted to do something that was really cool. This is the colour, how nice is this? All products by the way will be listed below. First things first eyebrows. What I did was I just brushed them, gimme brow through them and then brushed them up. Because we're using a dark colour I'm going to do the eyes first. I'm going to prime them first and then I'm going to take my teal eyeshadow and it's really quick and easy. All I'm going to do and actually for the shoot I did it all the way up to the eyebrow but I'm not going to do that today because it's not as wearable. It's amazing for editorial but not necessarily for a night out in the town. So I'm going to take the teal eyeshadow and I'm going to take it into the socket and blend it backwards and forwards. Then I took a shimmer dust and, what did I say, like dust? <laughs> a shimmer dust and put it on the back of my hand to start with and just take a brush and just put that over the top just to give it a bit of glitz and glam. Now I took some black liner and I'm going to go underneath the lash line here, so the waterline. So I'm going to go into both waterlines. This makes the lashes look thicker. And then going into the waterline here defines the eye more. Then I also took the black and just went under the lashes with it. So onto the actual skin under the lashes like this. And then the trusty cotton bud to blend. And then to finish the eyes, obviously, tons of Varial Mascara, because I want that really thick, false lash look. So bottom lashes first, and then top lashes. How nice are these eyes? So nice. I love this teal colour. It's really beautiful and jewel toned. So I'm just going to clean up underneath now, just with a bit of makeup remover on a cotton bud. Let's get rid of all that. For the base, I wanted to do a really dewy highlighted finish and you know how much um, I love a highlighted base and I've discovered this by Illamasqua, it's called the Radiance Veil, um, you might have heard, used it before or not, but I'm just going to literally chuck this all over my face and it's like a cream highlighter, I'm just blending that all over and it's going to give the most gorgeous glow. Then I'm going to take my fave foundation in the world, the Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow by Benefit and apply this all over the face. Then I'm going to conceal under the eyes and anywhere else that I need it. Next I'm just going to warm the skin up and I just use a little bit of bronzer right underneath the cheekbones to define them and then add a pop of pink onto the apples of the cheeks but not too much. Now to finish with the lips. So I actually did two different lip looks for the shoot and kept the eyes the same. I started with a nude lip like this. But then I decided to vamp it up by doing a deep berry lip because why not? And sometimes on the shoot it's really nice to just change the look up a little bit if that works with the story. So that's exactly what I did. And for this I used the MAC Lip Liner Follow Your Heart. It's really beautiful and I coloured the whole lip with it. And then I just deepened it up with a berry lip gloss. So that's it. How quick and easy and how cool is this look? How nice is it to use like a teal colour as well? It's really different and it really makes your eyes pop and then you can keep a nude lip or go all out and go for the red. So go to carnaby.co.uk to print off your 20% off voucher for the party. I'll be there shopping, drinking the free cocktails, dancing to the DJs. Yes, there are DJs because why would I not be there? I'm going to start my Christmas shopping. It's a bit scary, isn't it? But let's be honest, it's left less than 50 days away, people. And I love 
Christmas. <laughs> uh, tweet me with your recreations of the look or Instagram or Snapchat me. I'm on all of them. Lisa underscore benefit. But for now, have a great week. I'll see you soon. Bye.